They say that we can find in a man's truck says a lot about the guy. I'm, I'm a little worried as to what this will say about me. I've somehow collected so much stuff in this truck, I can barely almost even sit in here, much less anybody else ride with me. There is a lot of very strange things in this truck, and I don't know how or why I acquired them. Although I'm sure there's a story behind pretty much everything that's gonna come out of this truck. First things first, we just gotta get all this crap out. Hopefully throw some of it away. But it's probably all good stuff. We have to not only tackle the bed of the truck, but we also gotta do the cabs. I guess we just gotta get started. Oh my gosh. I am just not a very organized guy. Probably never will be. My brain is so like just in a million places all the time that uh, see, I even forgot what I was even saying. Usually I'm just like in a rush and I'm like, oh, whatever, just throw it in the back. It's kind of like the layers when they're digging for dinosaur bones where you can tell this was going on and then another layer down, like you could tell this was going on. They're just different layers of my diminishing mental state. Kind of start at the very bottom, which is the beginning of the season where things maybe, hey, we're going all right. And then by the end, it's just absolute chaos. Actually, first up, we have these actually super awesome shirts that I did with Dark Seas. And you can still buy these online. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Definitely my favorite shirt we've ever done. That's my boat, the Southern Girl. You can order these through Dark Seas website. Start a clothes pile, because there's definitely a lot. I did this run of sweatshirts here. You cannot buy these online. I was only selling these at the crab stand. Some more shirts from my buddy, Joey Harcum. He's got a band called Pasadena. We're both Dina boys. We got a brush, which is weird because I don't really wash much of anything. Could be useful if I decide to wash a truck one day. Here we have the center console. It's removable. It wasn't, but it is now. And it's actually kind of nice because there's zero cup holders in this truck. We'll just put this like over here. Here we have, looks like some kind of safety line, which is weird because it's definitely not something I would use. Manual instructions, not gonna read that. A guy watches me on YouTube, right? He was cleaning out his garage and he knew where my crab stand was. He came by and asked me if I wanted a couple things. I said, yeah, sure. Just trying to share his wealth and dropped off like three giant piles of stuff. Some of it, like this rope, not bad. Also here in the door, these came from the same kind fellow. I think these are barbecue skewers. On one of my freezers, I can't reach the on and off switch, so I have it over there so I can reach through the grate, turn the freezer on and off. Ratchet strap. If you don't have a couple of these mismatched ratchets and straps, ain't no grabber. You know why this is here. I've got a lawn chair, and I think this lawn chair's still in right shape here, buddy. Zip tied together. She'll make it another season. I actually have an entire kitty litter box completely full of ATF. Pro tip here, if you're going to sell a truck, even if it doesn't need that much ATF, it's never a good sign to leave that much ATF in the truck you're trying to sell. Look at this hammer, big bendy boy here. This is good for everything, really. And here we have my long lost tool bag. This is from a time when things were going a lot better and I had my wits about me a little bit more and I actually had reasonable tools. The last thing I was fixing with these tools was everything about my refrigerator unit on my air conditioner or on my trailer. Appears to have quite a lot of electrical tools in here. Could have used this about a hundred times more, but I had lost it buried under mountains of stuff. Glad I have it now that I don't need it. Let's check out the other side. They always break. The latches are always broken. Oh no, you can't even, can you not even open it from the inside? You used to be able to open it from the inside, but I guess you can't anymore. We're here at the passenger side now. Let's see what we got. Uh, don't need that. Hardware box. Sweatshirt in the fall. I leave the house in a sweatshirt, take it off because it gets really hot. Just end up with pickup trucks, completely full sweatshirt. Ooh. That's primo lunch right there, baby. Pork rinds. Bottle of water. That's really nice. Pistachios. This is only like $27 at 7-Eleven. Pack of microfiber cloths, which would be very useful if I ever clean anything. Truck part. Truck part. Don't need that. Questionably stained towel. Oh yes, we have a cooked belt. This belt is completely destroyed, but it goes on my Thermo King unit. It's not broken, so I saved it just in case, because you never know when you're gonna have to get yourself out of a real sticky situation. Thermo King, I need some more of these, buddy. Glove, more gloves. These are my favorite gloves. The Atlas 481s in the fleece lined. These are the best crab gloves I've found. They are every freaking wear. Pork rind. Hat, a fan brought me this hat from North Carolina. He was crabbing. Really cool hat, really like that. I do kind of collect cool snapback trucker hats, like these ones and that one. Looking for a gift. I like cool hats. Hmm, weird. Somebody's contact information written on a piece of drywall. Zip ties, zip ties, 
never have enough of those. You know what? I just need to bring a trash can over here. Yeah, here we go. You can't have a work truck without various wrappers. For me, I'm a big kind bar guy. I like granola bars, but I get tired of eating one kind, so I have to switch to a different kind. All of my favorites laying in the gutters of this truck. Dayquil packets, because no time for sick days around these parts. A brass wing nut, that's kind of weird. Definitely gonna hold on to that. What do we got here? Ooh, some electrical connections. Saving that one too. Manual to the truck, which would be great if I knew how to read. The world's worst phone charger. Pretty sure this is to charge some kind of vape or something like that. My guy's been driving the truck, but trash. Don't need to be smoking that crap anyway. When I first started getting into stuff, I was trying to use a GoPro and I'm too dumb to even use a GoPro. The only thing I have for camera equipment is an iPhone and a tripod. That's it. I should get back into using this though. This could probably be very useful. This thing, I'm not sure what this is for, but am I gonna throw it away? Definitely not. Better throw it in the glove box for another 15 years. O-ring for a fuel filter, I would assume. Definitely need that as well. Put that in there. Crab pot clips, never know when you're gonna need these. And a tiny screwdriver. These are all just coming out of my center console. If you don't have these things in your center console, I don't know what you're doing. Ooh, don't put that in there. Checkbook. Hog rings. These are literally a staple in what I do. You can't hold it together with zip ties and hog rings. It ain't a problem worth fixing. Ooh, a plastic fork. Every blue collar guy needs some plastic forks commandeered from your least favorite fast food restaurant in the glove box for emergencies. Another screwdriver. This is actually kind of cool. Somebody gave me this. Critter painted on another critter. Got some ammunition for my squirrel watching adventures. You ain't a blue collar guy. And if you ain't got a beef jerky pack, that was in the crevice between the seat and the center console. It's like no man's land. More zip ties. These are my good safety glasses. <laughs> Somebody got me so generously off of my Amazon wish list. These things actually are very nice because they have the little side things and I have a really flat square Asian face. Regular safety glasses hit my high cheekbones and they fog up. So these things, very much appreciated. I think this is a calculator. Washers. A fan brought these by because they saw my life falling apart and thought these might help. They did. More ammo. Bag of change. Because there's no cup holders. Whoa. Hunting knife. Love nuts to a truck that I no longer own. Had a 12 valve coming second gen. That was a sick truck. Anybody needs these? They're all yours. Random jumper clip. You always need these. Crab pot clips. Broken ratchet. Am I going to throw it away? No. Better let it sit back in the truck for another like year or so before I find it again, and then don't throw it away for a second time. Not sure where this random piece of tab stainless metal is, but I'm not getting rid of that. You might need this someday. Fuses, not sure what those go for. Hope I don't have to find out. Better throw them in a glove box. Ah yes, a tow boat card. I cannot afford not to have tow boat. Oh, look at that, unlimited gold. I must have eaten a lot of beef jerky in here. I put a hurting on that stuff. The intrusive thoughts always Maybe you want to try to eat one of these, although it explicitly says not to. Here I have my Bluetooth radio for this truck. Works on any of my trucks. So leave me a comment. If you're a blue collar guy, let me know what's in your cup holder. We got Afrin, keys to the truck that are usually there. Another stainless tab, keys to a generator. I don't know about you, but every blue collar guy has got a wife or a girlfriend. They cannot go five minutes without some kind of lip balm or something like that. You got a clip. If you own a 7.3, you know just what this thing is for. Undo the, the water dump valve on the fuel separator. Hose barb, some kind of coolant line. Tips, fuses, clips, air pods change, receipts. Hard earned change there. I'm not about to throw that change away. Money's hard to come by these days. <laughs> nice. Mmm, wow. Yeah, I have more than one of these. When she's into horses. I'm really not looking forward to the, having to like vacuum this thing out. I'm just, I hate like tidying things up. It's just, eh, it's not really my thing. I live life in chaos. Oh yeah, bag of gloves. Oh, fan for the crab stands, how we keep the bugs away. I tell you what, I have the market cornered on zip ties. I have quite a few and I keep buying them and forgetting that I bought them and now I have literally a couple thousand in my truck. To be fair, in my world, zip ties is something you can never have enough of. This is not helping as much as it should. So good. There's a good chance this truck has uh, never been cleaned for almost 25 years of life. 
it would be so nice if this truck had rubber floors because you could literally just hose it out. I'd like power wash the inside of my other truck. The carpet catches all the nasty stuff and then it smells weird. It's so hard to get sand out of carpet. That's clean. <laughs> this has got to be one of the like the filthiest trucks I've ever inhabited before. There's filth from like three owners back. Pretty sure this truck used to be owned by one of my ex-girlfriend's uncles. I got it from my buddy, but I think he got it from him, who I think was the original owner. But there's like kids Happy Meal toys and french fries under the seat. Like that, that's been there a while. This truck has what I like to call permadirt. Like, you know, all this stuff, it's just not really going anywhere. If this was a boat, I would just paint over it all. I just do not have enough hours in the day or enough desire to really scrub this thing down. If you have a detailing company and you really want to detail this, this would be the perfect one to prove your, prove your salt. I took all this stuff out of the truck. I don't know what to do with it. It doesn't really have a place except for back in the truck. So I guess I just take it out, organize it, vacuum, put it back in. I'm just gonna ignore that problem, move on to the next problem, and then deal with all the things I don't want to deal with later usually in a situation like that that later would never get done but here you know i actually have to drive the truck home it looks like a freaking yard sale out here though complete with sales chair and everything there's not too too much in here well it doesn't look like although i don't know what's in those boxes Ow! oh that was so dumb i don't even know how that happened that box was heavier than i thought I what do we got in here paper bags Roll, paper bags. Man, I am just hurting myself today. Ooh. Nice. Yes, J.O. Spice is my favorite. And hey, it's even got my face on it. <laughs> the weekly sales. Oh yeah, extension cords for the generator. The tent, Bodkin Point Seafood Headquarters. An extension cord that's way too long that's been wrapped and taped for just the right length to run the fan at the crab stand to keep the bugs away. Corn bag. Ooh, replacement signs. Another chair. He also was dropped off by the same guy that gave me all the meat skewers. So thanks for the fuel can. I think this is a safety can or something. Tire shine for putting a uh, lipstick on a pig. Shore power cords. Ooh, sweatshirts. All right, hopefully these stay dry till next year so I can actually sell them. They were very expensive. The price board. Shot glasses and keychains. So I'm gonna go and look at these. Never sold them. 25 the whole year. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, more paper bags. Some context, all my crabs come in a paper bag. I don't just like collect paper bags. Although I'm sure there's somebody out there that does and they got nothing on me. Look at this, more paper bag. The problem is I never want to run out during the season, but then I never want to buy too many because I don't want to have to store them all winter. I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of gross. Oh, thanks for the meat skewers, bro. Is it alive? Just scoop that down into a spot where you can't see it. It pretty much just looks like the most boring parts of Goodwill just puked all over the place. Or like your grandmother's elderly neighbor that had a yard sale and they just have a bunch of random kind of useless junk. I mean, it's useful to me, but it's not exciting. Now all that's left is to like put it all back in in a more organized manner. Like, was this even a job worth doing? I don't, I don't even know. I just, it felt like it should be done. Cause I never do. I can't find the lid. Where's the lid? I swear, I don't know about you. I spend so much time looking for like tools or something I literally just put down during a job that I could be done that job like in half the time. But I just walk around like an idiot. I can't find it. Is it even in here? Who knows? <gasps> I think I'm gonna stack this truck in two categories. Things in boxes and things not in boxes. From least exciting to most exciting. things this could be a category
kitty litter box. Couldn't forget that. All this stuff's just gonna like slide all over the truck. <laughs> oh, geez, this is a barrier. See, this would have come in handy when I got my truck stuck deer hunting. Zip ties coming in handy. I think this would make an awesome camper. A lot easier to deal with than my other actual camper. I spend more time wanting to turn things into campers than I do actually camping. Boss calls here. Just gonna maybe just deal with this next year. Wire dolly doesn't necessarily belong in the truck, but you know, good on boats, very handy. Finding this reminded me that I should probably check the oil because I have not done that in a while. Let's see, oop, there it is. Yep, still looks good. Just kidding. There's acorns in here. We did get the truck cleaned out. Kind of just took everything out, vacuumed it, and then put everything back in in a slightly more organized fashion. That's only gonna last until I use this truck probably like once or twice. But look at this. Wow. I mean, it really is not that much better than it was, but I mean, hey, I mean, it's slightly better, kinda. And I always get kind of bummed out this time of year. The days are so short. I'm always trying to do so much stuff. I have big plans and I'm like, it's dark again. Actually, this is my favorite time of year. So I'll be in a tree, hanging out, watching squirrels later today, if you need me. This is my off season right now, I'm not grabbing. If you want to get notified when I put out a new video, just hit the notification button. Like, subscribe, the whole nine. Catch you next time.